Ols. Welcome, uh, Unit LB students, to the Shotokan Karate Studies program. By now, you should know you've already warmed up. You've gotten the warm up that you feel your body needs. You're adequate for um, exact starting the program this morning. So let's go ahead and get started with our typical, quick, general warm up. Ready? And Ajime. Bring our heels to our glutes. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and do some high knees as well. Get my workout recorded. Here we go. High knees. You can do this slow, just like I'm doing. Again, just bringing your knees up. You can do it fast if you feel like kind of bouncing a little bit, working your calves a little bit. Or if you want to go slow, go slow. And yummy. Yeah, All right, let's come up on our toes, stretching out our calves. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and do some body hip twists. And yame. Good. Arm up, across the side, stretching out our shoulder. side. Again, don't hold these too long. Just doing dynamic stretches here. Nothing too static. Nothing being held for too long. Reaching over. Other side. Good. Feet just wide the shoulder width. Go down and touch the floor. Go to the right. Back to center. Go to the left. Back to center. All right, make that a little wider. We're gonna go down to the right, turning up on our left heel, stretching out our hamstring. Good, now we're gonna turn to the left in a long front stance. Pushing on the quad here, pushing the knee over the toe. And now to a runner stand, or a runner stretch. Back up. All right, we're gonna do everything to the other side now. Leaning to the left, onto the right heel. Toes pointed up, stretching out your hamstring. All right, let's rotate that all the way around. Good front stance, long, deep. Pushing on the quad, pushing the knee out over the toe. Getting a good stretch. Transition that into a runner stretch. And come back to center. Come back standing. Good. Turn around, fix your key. Back to me. You win. Subidach. Ready? Yoi. Cesar. Good. 
Dojo Kun. Stolt, Jinkaku Kansei, Ni Sto, Muro Koto. Stolt, Makoto, No, Michi, O, Mamoru, Koto. Stolt, Sto, Ryoko, No, Seishin, O, Yashino, Koto. Stolt, Rei, Gi, O, Omanzuru, Koto. Stolt, Keiki, No, Yu, O, Imashimoro, Koto. So today's class is going to be a an advanced class. This advanced class is advanced class number nine, I believe. So what we're going to do today is advanced kata. All right. So some of these kata I've not taught. Some of these kata maybe you haven't learned. Um, and when I say advanced kata, so we're not going to go through any of the heian kata today. All of our kata today will be advanced beyond heian kata, even beyond teki. Uh, so what we're going to do today would be kata like uh, jion, uh, basadai, uh, mp, let's see, kankusho. Uh, so some, again, some of the more advanced katas, maybe we'll even touch our kankudai as well. Uh, so I think those five might be, might be good. So basadai, kankudai, kankusho, Jion, MP, and Hengetsu. All right, so there's there's six kata that we can go through today that are not Heian or Teki kata. So again, they're advanced kata. So uh, advanced level. Uh, if there are kata that maybe you don't know as we go through this, substitute another kata that you know. Uh, because again, all we're going to do for this class is go through kata. I'm not teaching you kata. I'm not going through each one of these classes or each one of these kata by the numbers. This is going to be a kata workout. So this is an advanced kata workout. Again, we're going through advanced kata. We're going to announce kata. We're going to go through the kata. If we need to take a break or meditation or to catch our breath, we'll do that at the appropriate times. And we're going to get right back into the next kata. So six kata. Um, in order to fill the class, we'll probably do each kata maybe twice. So I think that should cover all the kata and uh, some time to, to take a breath and breathe in between. Um, if we can, maybe we'll, we'll warm up maybe with uh, something. We'll warm up with Heian Shodan just because it's a good warm up kata. It gets your body moving. Um, I know you've already done your warm up uh, earlier in the class, but it's a good way to just kind of start moving through and getting your mindset right for uh, kata. Again, it's a mind warm up, not as much a body warm up. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, and again, if you have uh, questions, comments, if there's certain kata that you want to learn, uh, put those down in the comments below and we'll, I'll start getting some of those tutorials up so that we can look at specific kata that you want to learn uh, as you get, again, more advanced in your uh, belt level or just more advanced in your Shotokan Karate in general. All right, so let's go ahead and just start with hand Shodan. Again, slow just to get our mind warmed up and actually go through a kata. And then we're going to go through, like I said, those advanced kata today. Okay? Find your spot. Um, there are certain kata that I have to start from certain areas uh, due to limited space. I don't like to take too many correction steps. Um, I know Gion, I have to take correction steps. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm able to get most of these kata done in this uh, area of my dojo. So. Um, again, just think about that before you start some of these. Make sure you have the room to be able to complete them properly. Okay. All right. So again, this is all on your own. Just follow along with me as much as you can to get this workout in. And watch me as much as you can. Uh, if this is a class where you kind of watch more than you participate, 
That's understandable, but I would like for you to participate as much as possible. So again, if you're going through, if we're going through a kata that maybe you don't know, substitute it for one that you do know, and then continue on with the workout. All right. Hand shuran. Slow speed. Warm up your mind. Ajume. Between kata, if you need to take a breath longer than what I'm pausing for, pause the video. All right, I'm going to try to catch my breath between each kata. So maybe I'll come to this center point, take a couple of deep breaths, and then I'll move on to the next kata. So I'm not going to stop and say, okay, I'm going to wait for you to finish. All right, and then move on to the next kata. All right, I'm just going to come to center, take a few breaths. Announce the next kata, and then we're going to actually perform that kata. Okay, so that said, Basada is our next kata. Basari. Next kata that we're gonna look at, let's do uh, let's do kankudai, all right? Kankudai. Kankudai.
All right, next car. Um, so we did Kanku Dai. Let's go ahead and do Kanku Show. All right, Kanku Show. This is one of my favorite kata. Uh, this is a pretty advanced kata as far as when you would learn it. Um, maybe when you kind of learn on your own, but definitely one of the more advanced above brown balance style katas. Okay. So that was Kanku Show. Again, one of my favorite katas. Love it so much. Let's do it again. Okay. Again, this is a kata class. Going through kata as much as possible, a good kata workout. Let's do it again. All right, Kanku Show. Do it better than you did it the last time. If you have to skip this one because you don't know it, do another kata. Or do a kata that you have some difficulty with and do it again. All right, ready? Show.
All right, so had a little trouble with my jump, actually on the landing. Uh, you don't want your knee to touch the ground like mine did there. Kind of, it will throw you off balance, and that's what it did for me there. But hence the reason for practicing kata, right? Practice kata as much as you can. It's a great way to meditate and exercise, all right? Uh, that said, because I made a mistake, I'd like to do Kamaku Show again, right? I really want to land that jump before I move on to the next kata, okay? We have time, so let's just go through it again. And so again for you, if this is not a kata you're familiar with, move on to another kata, or practice one that you're having trouble with, or do your favorite kata. Just something to actually replace this time, because I want you to keep working out with me, so I want you to do something during this time. Don't just watch, okay? All right. Show. So, there's Kung Fu Show, done three times. All right, so gone through Basi, uh, Kung Fu Dai, and Kung Fu Show. Let's go to Gion. All right, so Gion is the next kata. Ready? Uh, for this one, I do have to take a correction step. I know that specifically. Um, after I do my kick in the Sanbao Zuki, I do have to step back in order to move in this direction so that I have room to move down this first, I guess you would call this first section of the kata. Um, yeah, to move from this side of the room to that side of the room, I have to take a couple steps back. So you'll see me, or you'll hear me announce a correction, right? <clears throat>
right, so with Jion, I made a little bit of a mistake moving in this direction for the second time. All right, so after, after my supported block that comes up here and you're down, okay, here, right there. I forgot what I was doing there and didn't, I kind of got confused and instead of doing my cross block. So you come out, then cross block, then Uchi, then spank, okay? So because I made that mistake, I want to go through the entire kata again. All right, so uh, for you at home, if you go through a kata uh, and you make a mistake, it's up to you whether you decide you want to stop at that mistake and restart, or if you want to continue throughout the kata, notice any other little mistakes, then think about it and start the kata over again, remembering those mistakes so that you can correct them the next time you do the kata. Right? Similar to what I've said for an exam, right? If you're doing an exam and you make a mistake, you continue through what you're doing to finish, and when you're done, say, during that kata right there, Gion, I made a mistake here and here, wherever maybe you made other mistakes. So I'd like to do that kata again to correct those mistakes. That way I know that you know you've made a mistake, and I'm not just saying, well, he doesn't know how to do that kata, and I mark it incorrect. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that kata one more time for my sake. Correction. So Jion has some fast sections that you go through. It's good to slow them down every now and then. Um, I can tell I kind of bobbled again a little bit uh, after my Samba Mzuki. All right, so, Agayuke, reverse punch. Agayuke, reverse punch. Agayuke, Boizuki. Um, and I kind of bobbled that during that second time that I did it. But that's okay, all right. Again, I'm calling it out. I know I made the mistake. I know maybe I need to work on it again but it's just one of those things, okay? I'm not gonna do the cut again, not right now. Probably at the end of class, I'll do it again, just for my sake. So let's move on to MP and Hengetsu. That way we get through those cut before the end of class, all right? So MP, we'll start here. Again, know your starting points based on the room you're in. Um, I know that I have to start here, again, based on the amount of room as you move through this particular kata, you go this way, this way, there's a long section that goes this way, then back this way before you move down the middle again. So I know that I need to stand to the right of where I typically would start this kata. So I'm gonna start right here.
All right, so that was kind of empty. I feel pretty good about how I went through that kata. Uh, not too many, not too many big mistakes anyway. All right, let's go ahead and move through Hengetsu. Hengetsu is uh, more of a meditative breath work kata. So let's go through this kata, and then we're gonna go back and do Jion again. Then we're gonna cool down and call it a class. All right, Hengetsu. Hengetsu uses this half moon stance, um, called Hengetsu. So just remember that. Remember that your feet should kind of be turned in. It kind of feels a little awkward as you go through this kata, but that's just the nature of the kata, okay? That's kata hengetsu. So there's a lot of breath work as you move through hengetsu. A lot of breathing in, breathing out. Here at the end, you're breathing, expelling all the air from your lungs, those last two. <sighs> before you turn and start moving in this direction. Um, then there's those three, it is actually three, but really two where your balance is really, um, you, you really have to check your balance. Where you come in here, Lift that leg up to come back around to this side into that back stance. Okay, and then to cross over, kick, down, punch, and block. All right, and that's a quick succession of key home techniques right there that are strung together. So it can be a difficult kata uh, when you think about those things. That's probably why it's a more advanced level kata because of the breath work, because of the footwork, because of the turn that's very you know, to keep your balance pretty well to get that turn in. And then that string of Kihon techniques at the end of those turns, uh, you kind of have to be aware of. And I may have made a few mistakes in there, probably not as pretty as it could have been for a competition, but again, going through the kata helps you, you work out any mistakes. So I know where I need to make changes, I know where I need to work. Hopefully going through this helps you know those things as well. All right, so that is, I believe that's all the kata I wanted to go through today, right? We did. Basadai, Kamakudai, Kamaku Sho, Jion, MP, and Hengitsu. Right, that's all six. Great. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go through. I'm going to do Jion again, and I'm going to do Hengitsu again, and we're going to call it a day. Alright, so Jion, as you know, I'm going to start here on this side, and let's think maybe I started on this side just for your benefit, because I've, you've seen me do it on this side. Let me do it on this side just for your benefit. Um, just so you can see it from another angle um, if you're not participating in the class or you're watching it back after you participated. So I'm going to start it here. Uh, I don't think that'll be any problem. Um, yeah, so, uh, and I know where I made my mistakes, uh, so I want to make sure that I catch those mistakes um, and do better. Right? So again, uh, one place for correction is here at the beginning after I turn for here. I have to step back to the edge of the mat so that I have room as I work in this direction for my manji yuke. Um, and then 
The second time I'm here, I have to do a correction so I can step back again to the end of the mat so that I can properly perform my tetsus as I come back this way to end the kata. All right. All of that said, let's go ahead and perform the kata. So I need to make sure I have room for my first step. So I'm going to start here. good about that one. Um, maybe some minor mistakes but nothing glaring. So I feel pretty good about that kata. Now I'm going to go through Hengetsu and we're going to wrap up class. Hengetsu! workout today all right lots of good kata performed to the best of your ability if you made mistakes doing those kata again calling out your mistakes to be able to go through and correct them whenever you can all right let's come back to center yoi subrachi right yoi seiza All right, for today's meditation, I want you to think about one of your kata. Think about one that maybe you had some trouble going through or one that maybe you made a couple of mistakes on and you want to correct those mistakes. I want you to go through that kata in your mind, thinking about each kihon technique, getting you from the beginning to the end of the kata. Okso.
Donc, sur les mains, c'est une seigneurie. Tati. C'est blanche. Ring. Yoi. Pulse. Thank you, students, for joining me for this class. Really good kata class, really good workout class, a time to work on your kata, um, a time to watch kata maybe you haven't seen performed or maybe you want to learn. Again, if there are kata that you saw me do that you would like to learn, put that in the comments below. I'll try to get some videos up um, doing tutorials of those videos, remembering this is a more advanced class. So some of these kata maybe you should have learned in an intermediate class, but I'm more than happy to teach them in that intermediate class, have you go back to them, But again, most of those kata are advanced and therefore should be in this section of the curriculum. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you in the next class. Ols.